This is an inflatable habitat that could one day house lunar astronauts. That is, if we ever get back to the moon. NASA landed on the moon 50 years ago. To be exact, Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins completed the 239,000-mile journey on July 20, 1969. Now, Sierra Nevada Corporation is one of the private sector companies trying to get us back. The company is developing what it calls the Large Inflatable Fabric Environment at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Sierra Nevada hopes NASA will use the habitat in its new Artemis program, which will lead the U.S. back to the moon and eventually Mars. The company is competing with Boeing, Northrop Grumman, Bigelow Aerospace, and NanoRacks. Each company has proposed its own habitation prototypes. NASA began testing the prototypes on the ground in March. The space agency says those tests should last several months. Sierra Nevada CEO says there are economic reasons to return to the moon. There's so much to be done in the moon, from mining to research to scientific uh, to uh, overall space from LEO, GEO, multiple levels of the space domain. There's uh, incredible uh, potential for medical, there's some medical research, uh, pharma research, that you can do a microgravity environment. You can do materials, you can do 3D printing. You can bring a lot of the heavy industries up to space, eventually make the earth greener. But that all depends on affordability, which is really driven by reusability. Sierra Nevada Corporation's prototype of its habitat is 27 feet in diameter, three stories high, and inflatable and it has a micro-meteorite shield built around it to protect the structure from space debris. The whole key is getting out there with a large enough habitat for a crew to be able to support a crew for you know, a 30-day mission, a 60-day mission, and even we had a requirement on this for a 1,000-day mission. The challenge, however, is how to get such a large structure into space. Currently, missions to space must use rockets to escape Earth's gravitational pull. Because the habitat is inflatable, it can be packed into a standard rocket. Once it gets to space, the company says it can be inflated fairly quickly. However, NASA decides to deploy it. It could be used as a uh, LEO uh, space station as well as lunar space station and beyond toward Mars. It could, uh, this uh, inflatable concept can be used on the surface of the moon or the Mars. Because eventually when we want to have a sustainable presence, we need all of this. So. So it's really a good example of our innovative approach that is very affordable because it can be launched from uh, commercial launch vehicles. Inside, the habitat is designed to be multifunctional. There's a personal hygiene station that allows astronauts to clean themselves. Although showers are basically a spit bath, the kind you'd take on a camping trip, astronauts use very little water and waterless shampoo. A space toilet operates with suction and is adaptable for men or women. Urine is treated and recycled into drinking water. The habitat is equipped to capture humidity from the cabin, which can turn it into water. There's also exercise equipment. Exercise is necessary because it helps slow down the loss of bone mass in space. And it's good for cardiovascular health, as well as the morale of the crew. There's even an astro garden where astronauts can grow their own vegetables. The plants also capture excess carbon dioxide from the cabin. In the galley, most food is freeze-dried, or MREs, which are meals ready to eat. A built-in trash compactor compresses trash into bricks. Those bricks can be used for extra radiation protection. It took Sierra Nevada nine months to build the prototype for the habitat, and it still has to be tested to see if the shell can withstand micrometeorite debris. It's been nearly half a century since humans have walked on the moon. NASA wants to get back there soon, though. And in addition to an orbiting habitat, either from Sierra Nevada or another company, the agency also wants to establish a lunar base on the surface. NASA says it plans to return to the moon in 2024, to be exact. Low Earth orbit has almost been commercialized through private companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX. That potentially leaves NASA free to focus on the moon. And then Mars. Thank you.